Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Devin and I garden here in Maryland in zone 7A. It is a overcast morning. It's actually spritzing rain right now. It has been very hot and humid. So this morning is a very nice break. It's only supposed to get to 82 today. I think 82 or 84, which is wonderful. It'll feel really nice. Uh, today I have some pots that I want to plant up. I was at my mom's this past weekend. She lives about two hours north of us and she loves um, gardening and flowers and pots just as much as I do. And she had some flowers that she was not gonna be using for her pots. So she graciously gifted them to me. So I wanna get those in, some pot, in a pot. And I have some other things that I want to repot that are kind of outgrowing the pots that they're in and I have a topiary on my front porch that I want to try to get to. It's become unruly and I need to trim it. So that is what is on tap for today. You're welcome to follow me along and see what I can get done in the rain. Hopefully it doesn't rain too hard. So let's get going. I'm going to work under my umbrella to shield me from some of the rain today. But this is the grouping of plants that she gave me for a container. You can see this is a super beautiful Angelonia, which I honestly haven't used before in a container, so I'm excited to try it out. This is the Angel Face Blue. It's good for full sun. So that will be kind of my thriller in the container. And then she had a Diamond Frost Euphorbia, which is full to part sun. And some Creeping Jenny, which I just dug out of one of her containers that um, she had a lot of it in there. So hopefully that'll bounce back to life soon. And then a, it's called Cora Cascade Violet Vinca. I guess that that will kind of cascade over the planter as well. And then she actually had this kind of tall rectangular planter from some arrangement that she had bought. So I didn't even need to buy a container. So let's get these plants in this container. I think it's going to look great. I think this turned out really pretty. 
I probably could have used a couple more things in there, um, some different colors just to fill it out a little bit better, but they were all free to me. So I'm gonna go with what I've got. I just stuck this Creeping Jenny around this side. I'll probably put this side more towards the back over here on my deck and I will show you where it's where I'm thinking that it will go but I'm overall very happy with it. I think it'll fill out nicely. So this is a little grouping of containers that I have on my deck and I'm thinking of putting the pot that I just planted up here and I'm considering moving my smoke bush, which I really do like it here, but I was considering planting it down in my holly bed and putting the container in its place that I just made. So I'm going to try that and see how it looks and kind of think on the smoke bush uh, idea of moving it down to my holly bed. Just going to sit with it for um, a few days before I actually go ahead and do that to make sure that I really want to put it there. So let's get the container over here and see how it looks. I moved the container into the smoke bushes place. And although I really do like the smoke bush, I think I like this too. It's just kind of a nice change. I do like the red leaf of the smoke bush, but I think that this works also. So I'll give you one last little close up here. And I'm gonna start potting up my um, zinnias. I have zinnias here that are in a nursery container and that container is a little too small for these guys. So I'm gonna put them into the one that they are sitting in. And I have my ageratum here that is also in a small container. Let's see if I can get it out in a smaller container and it's impossible to keep hydrated so I'm gonna put my adoratum into that slightly bigger container and then I'll get trimming my topiary Thank you.
everything is watered in and I thought I should give you a closer look at what else is in here. These are um, lily potsinias. I think I forgot to mention that. They did get really tall, which I am not really sure if they're supposed to get that tall or they're, if they're just really leggy from the pot that they were in. But they are looking really pretty. And I have this pot filled with Super Tunia Bordeaux, which I love, and a Mandevilla vine, which is about to open up. It's taken really long to get buds on it since I planted it, but it looks like it's gonna go for it now. I have some Lantana that lost a lot of its buds when I was on vacation, but it's starting to bounce back and a pretty orange calibrachoa right here. I like just keeping my watering can, my galvanized watering can right there. I think it looks really cute. And these beautiful pink geraniums are some of the geraniums that I overwintered in my garage. These I overwintered in a paper bag and they look beautiful. And I have an Adjuratum that I just potted up, which I'm hopeful will like that pot a little bit better. And the container I potted with you guys. So that is my conglomeration of pots on my deck. And I wanna show you this one other pot behind me real quick too. So this is another geranium that I overwintered in my garage that I'm just kind of blown away <laughs> about. It was in a smaller container when I overwintered it and I repotted it into this bigger container, but you can see how huge it is. And the spike is so big. It was just this teeny tiny little spike when I got it last year. And the geraniums are just so huge and gorgeous. I do give them water soluble fertilizer about once a week. And I have a little bit of copa down there peeking out. And I think this is the dusty, I always forget, I think it's the dusty Miller vine, like a the small version but anyway I just think that this container is so pretty it's definitely one of my favorites this year and I'll definitely be trying to overwinter it again this year I don't know if I'll leave this spike in or I don't know maybe I will and I'll just see how it goes we're at my front door now and this is the topiary that I am going to trim with you I have not trimmed it yet this season and it is just turning into one big bush. <laughs> so it is definitely time for a trim. So I'm gonna take it out back to the deck and get that done. more full than the bottom and it's also you know, starting to put up a middle shoot so I could almost make it into a three layer topiary but I think I'm just going to keep it at two so far and I'm going to use my trimmers which are pretty old and not very sharp and my like kitchen scissors they're a lot sharper so they might actually work better than my my hand pruners um so yeah let's see what I can make this look like, hopefully a little bit better than this.
All right, I just finished trimming my topiary. It's looking a little bit better. The bottom is a lot more sparse than the top for some reason, but maybe now that I've given it a trim, it will start to fill out a little bit better. So, it's looking good. All right, the topiary is back in its place. And I'll show you real quick what I have here on the porch. So I'll just give you a quick little tour. I've got the Ivy, Boston Ivy next to the Eugenia and a, a Doritum wire vine that's gone wild over the lanterns, which I kind of really love. And my topiary. And over on the other side, my, this is actually a sun patient that's doing pretty good in the shade. And a streptocarpella. I love those almost like blue flowers. They're so pretty. And I believe that's a ghost fern. And a big leaf begonia. My Boston ferns are looking really good. They have grown so much. I have these in a 20 inch uh, basket, wire basket. And they're just really looking good. And over here, I have another big leaf begonia and another sun patient doing a little bit better, better than the other one because it gets more sun in this corner. So that is a quick mini tour of my porch. Everything's looking good. All right, that's all that I have for today. I hope you enjoyed following me around, maybe got a little inspired. I hope that you all have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.